Hello friends, hello, hello, and happy moment wherever you are. Welcome to this personal power life coaching wellness segment for a wonderful lifestyle of happiness and inner peace through a peaceful body. And how does that happen? Well, one approach that I've been experimenting and doing for the past, I don't know, maybe 10, uh, 15 years is through nutrition and exercise and then eventually coming to a space of adding for sure meditation and enhancing a deeper sense of spirituality. And yet that spirituality has been totally informed by the foods that I'm eating because the foods that I eat and drink they impact my emotions. Why? Because the foods that we eat and drink, the drinks that we take in, they go into your stomach, into your intestines, into your gut system. And as you may know, the gut is a center of the brain. It is a brain of the body. And it actually has more neurotransmitters than we can fathom. It has receptors, it has sensors that are so finely tuned to understanding and deciphering the foods, the information you're putting into it in the form of the foods that you're consuming. And then it affects the cascade of neurotransmitters and chemical interactions that affect the way we feel. So this is why the foods that we eat and the things we drink impact our emotions. And you know this from personal experience because when you have coffee, for instance, you immediately feel the shift inside of your energy, inside of your energetic body, in your thinking, in your activity. Why? Because it stimulates more adrenaline in your body and it closes off the receptors in our brain that indicate tiredness and fatigue but you know that everything has a consequence and especially within our body and everything we put in definitely has an effect if not immediately it will show in time and so what does that mean we have to bear in mind that while there can be an immediate pleasure or satisfaction in having something that you consider to be negative or detrimental for your health it may feel good in that brief moment, but in the evening or the hours ahead or the day ahead or the next week or month ahead, even in the years ahead, that's when we feel the consequences of our actions that were satisfying in the moment, but ultimately we knew that from its personal experience, it doesn't work. Anyhow, it's a big topic and we're all doing our best. So the key is to not judge yourself and don't be critical of yourself. Rather, let's turn that around and learn from it. Take in the information and the key learning. What has it taught you about yourself? You're still on your journey and your path or as one of my um, favorite, uh, well, the only one that I really listen to, Joel Osteen, he's a pastor um, and he has his transmissions on YouTube. He said, one, of his, um, one of his sermons or, or uh, presentations is about how you are on the potter's wheel. And it means that you're still an unfinished product and as you may be already perfect, but you're still perfectly imperfect. I'm perfectly imperfect, we all are. And so this is what makes life what it is because it's only done when we die. So we're constantly improving, constantly learning, constantly growing, and it's just a matter of you and you and how you see things. So moving forward, as I said in the description, we've got today some watermelon juice. And why watermelon? Because it's very hydrating and because it's the weekend and I feel inspired to do something new and to get something new out of this moment. So I'm sharing with you the um, watermelon juice uh, making and welcome to everyone. I'm just trying to wave to my friend here. But anyhow, I see you. And here we have our watermelon. And may it focus well or not. 
but here's what we have it seems to be a bit fuzzy so there we go friends and i set it up this is about this part here is 935 grams i actually got myself a nifty new food scale i really love it because it has this nice bowl which i can you can double use for soaking and cleaning your herbs like parsley and cilantro and as such we can now start the juicing process and let us tilt this downwards there we go so i hope that you will be able to see the juice as it's coming out hopefully i'm just uh, organizing myself in my new kitchen so as we say inshallah it will be fine and this is where the juice comes out this is where the pulp will be removed and yeah so onwards and upwards and the key is just to let yourself be inspired by the things in the world around you that actually uplift you so whatever it is that brings you joy and vitality and more aliveness and peace and goodness those are the things we want to focus on and we want to let go of the rest and just let it pass let it pass through you and the more you practice this thinking and philosophy the more you will live it out from day to day that is the key that's the key to happiness is just to let go of the small things that don't make us happier and to focus on the things that do yes so watermelon juice watermelon juice and we're gonna have some body detox music in the background this is to clean cells and purify the body and cleanse the system so this music is running in the background and it's going to enhance the energy of the watermelon juice by virtue of the intention so you probably may already do this when you cook or when you are making something nice for your family or for yourself because you are your own family you know that when you're in a good mood and you put some nice music in the background or you're just in peace that it comes out so much better all right so there we go and now i would just like to make sure that I wish we could see now the thing is I didn't want to angle it uh, like to face the fridge because I have a new fridge that came in yesterday as you can see there but it's like the second fridge so I have another fridge that's right there actually and it's being removed because it doesn't work so this is the other one that they brought and it's just like in the middle of the kitchen which is it kind of is bizarre but whatever right it's only until tomorrow and then they're going to uh change it so let's see if that can bring some better angling and thanks for bearing with me friends i guess this is the weekend vibes right just take it easy relax and just do what you can do <laughs> All right, so this is what we've got and I'm gonna shift the direction again and really I'm doing this because I want you guys to see it so that it's a more beneficial angle, right? So there we go. Why? Because it's kind of nice when you see the juice coming out. All right, so the music is on and so closing the machine. There it is. And we've got the watermelon cubed already. All is well, all is well. And just making sure we're drinking our water. All right, so there we go. And let's get juicing. So I'm gonna put in the pieces and perhaps you will hear the music in the background. Watermelon is so water rich. I just kind of got a little bit overexcited and stuffing the thing with the bigger chunks. So when you get your juicer, 
you want to work with the way that it best operates. This spout is now opening. And what I really love about this one is that it is a much better extracting method as opposed to the centrifugal one. And if you see the, the pulp there, the pulp is coming out and it comes out quite still a little bit moist as you can see because watermelon is so water rich. So when you have water rich fruits, you're gonna have a little bit more water coming out. And let me add some more. Now, in this case, I'm going to add the skin of the watermelon. You can also juice the watermelon rind. And you get more of the chlorophyll. I've done it before. And it takes away a little bit of the sweetness because the rind is tougher but you're getting more of the chlorophyll. So it, you just adapt to the flavor that you want to incorporate. That's it. So I'm just taking these slices. And the funny thing is that I actually am not a big watermelon fruit lover. Um, it used to give me a little bit of kind of itchiness in the throat. But in the juice form, I find it to be actually like my intuition is just guiding me to have this kind of juice for right now because summertime is here and it's really a, a great way to debut this new season and also because we know that mm, when summer rolls around, we tend to get more dehydrated. We need to drink a lot more water, a lot more fluids, and ensure that we are having it from sources that are totally clean, not in the form of coffees or even teas because those are dehydrating substances and they actually are more acidic in the body so they don't help you to alkalize and they don't hydrate and nourish the cells. They don't oxygenate the body. So it's all about balance. Wow. So here we are. We've got like a good, a good, you know, like quite a bit of watermelon juice and the pulp is quite quite moist too but not as moist as it used to be when I was juicing with our centrifugal juicer in New York so what I like to do is I will now tip it over as you can see so that's that and the color is absolutely gorgeous look at this color isn't that so nice and I had half of a watermelon and now this is what's left. I think I ultimately juiced about like a thousand uh, grams or so eventually because I had weighed previously 935 so I cut off the rind right there. And we're gonna set that aside. I've even got a straw here that's ready to fly into that juice into the cup that I will consume and gloves to the side. Excellent. So we just made an amazing watermelon juice and we've got here about, um, according to this is 16 ounces. So maybe it's about two and a half cups almost, but not quite. Um, so two and a half cups. So you can see that was very fast and we've got a lot of hydrating fluid here. And I'm going to serve it up now. So we're, we'll, we'll grab a nice, a nice cup. Um, oh wow. And I realized that I have left one of my mugs at work, my glass, my drinking glass. So we're gonna use another one, which is good for uh, serving it up. And off, we put this to the side. And now, serve, serve, serve. 
shifting directions over here. And let's enjoy. So here we are. Bring you along for the ride. As you can see. So glass goes down. And we've got our magnificent watermelon juice. There it is. <laughs> so that's it, friends. And you want to adjust your scale so that it is with the units that you wish to measure it with. Now this one is, I just changed it to ounces and it's ready to go. So beautiful. Beautiful color and it smells lovely. Great, so 15.7 ounces and we've got some left over for whenever you come over. <laughs> and adding the straw. Now, if you wanted to, if you want to get creative and you want to give it a lemony taste, then you can take your lemon or lime. I personally love limes. I find them to be sublime, but if you have a lot of gastric issues like um, hydrochloric acid problems, then you may want to be mindful of that because you don't want to hurt your tummy by adding too much stress in the morning, but there's so much mixture of feedback in that regard. Um, and so here we are. This is just going to be simple watermelon juice. Look at that amazing color. Lovely, lovely. That's it. And let's take a sip. So, that's what we've got. We just made our watermelon juice. Ah, it is really hydrating. And it's 3 p.m. here in Dubai. So, this has been our wellness segment, our wellness moment. And I previously made other videos that incorporate watermelon. Actually, when I did my juice fast one year ago, I started with watermelon and I just found it to be very hydrating and it's cleansing, it stimulates testosterone for males who wish to enhance that part of their organism and it's very, very super rich in minerals and nutrients. I mean, I can, I can look it up and uh, there's always loads of information about it and I've previously described it in my posts. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll see if I have a moment to add the actual specific vitamins, but it's very hydrating, very light, very good for the summertime. And you don't have to worry about blood sugar level issues or things like that because it's very fast through your system anyways, it's a fluid, it's a liquid, so it's only going to work wonders and benefits and it's very mild, it's very mild, like just use your intuition connect with your body and know that it's simple and simple is better okay sometimes it's the tendency of our mind to complicate things but simplicity is the key to greater health it's really not that complicated we eat whole foods whole plant foods natural foods in their natural forms as as much uncooked as possible fruits and vegetables primarily and then you work up based on that and you do the best you can. Mm. 
and that was Siri. And so to close off, hmm, I'm going to show you the natural laxative that I am experimenting with today. And I found the recipe online and I wasn't expecting it actually, but um, you never know. I, I was just looking for something natural to um, relate it to the colon. And let me show you the mixture. However, that is, so it's already been boiled. And this is what we've got. These are dates and prunes that have been boiled. They were cut, I weighed them, and it's 150 grams of each, the prunes and the dates. And then I cut them more or less into pieces. And it's with five cups of water and boiled it, left it simmering. Now I'm letting it cool. And towards the latter half of the boiling process, I added slivers of ginger because ginger is great for the digestion. It calms an anxious stomach. I love the taste of it. I love eating ginger with my meal. And so we shall see. And according to the suggested uh, procedure is that you just let it get as thick as possible as a syrup and then you consume it um, in the day. Uh, the first video that I saw indicated two tablespoons so I think that's sufficient and then it can be added to other foods that you may eat in the day such as if you have oatmeal or if you have uh, other fruits that are in the sweet category and um, yeah, so that's it for now, friends. This has been Jennifer from Personal Power Life Coaching and Wellness. This is our weekend segment for well-being and vitality. Thank you for creating watermelon juice along with me in this day and for stepping into my new kitchen, which is now where I'm living. My home is here. I, this is my new home, actually. I moved in uh, two weeks ago. So yes. It's been great, and that's it for now. Enjoy your juicing, enjoy your smoothies, enjoy your fruits and veggies, and your good sleep, your prayer and meditation, and spending time with peaceful, relaxing walks in the sunshine, getting vitamin D, getting plenty of fiber-rich, natural, wholesome foods, and reducing animal fats as much as possible, or at least just leaving them to be consumed to the second part of the day and towards only the dinner meal. And so onwards and upwards, I love you. Thanks for being part of my life and see you again soon. Bye-bye and keep it juicy.